today we will discuss uh, thermal power plant and uh, first we know the development of power in any country depends upon the available resources in that country so with thermal power station or thermal power plant it basically using the steam as working fluid that works basically on rankine cycle and steam is generated in the boiler and that is expanded in the prime mover so firstly we discuss the main components of the thermal power plant and uh, this is the uh, first one coal storage tank it is the furnace or boiler and uh, we can see the supply of the coal from sto coal storage tank to combustion chamber of the boiler and this is the tank for hot as or slag chimney this is feed water processing plant these are the tubes in the boiler for carrying the water and steam and uh, this is steam turbine this is generator condenser cooling tower and uh, these pipes show the supply of the water from condenser to cooling tower supply of water from condenser to feed water processing plant this is power lines this arrangement for supplying the air to the furnace or boiler with the help of a fan and this is co2 reach emission discharge through the chimney so now we discuss the working of thermal power plant so here we can see the coal from the storage tank is fed to the boiler through the coal handling equipment for the generation of steam as produced due to the combustion of coal is removed to as storage through as handling system air is supplied to the combustion chamber of the boiler either through the forced draught or induced draught fan or by using both and the dust from the air is removed before supplying to the combustion chamber and uh, the steam generated in the boiler is fed to the steam pipe prime mover or steam turbine as we can see with the help of the arrows steam is supplied to the steam turbine and uh, steam that is uh, supplied to the steam turbine that is basically convert the <coughs> heat energy into the mechanical energy as we can say the steam is generated in the boiler of thermal power plant using the heat of fuel burn in the combustion chamber and steam generated is passed through the steam turbine and where part of its thermal energy is converted into mechanical energy and uh, this turbine that is coupled with the shaft of the generator as we can see and uh, with the help of generator the production of electricity that starts and finally it transfer with the help of power lines to the grid here we can see the component condenser is here the function of condenser is to condense the steam coming out of the steam turbine at low pressure basically the steam coming of steam turbine is condensed in the condenser and this condensate is supplied back to the boiler after passing through the cooling tower with the help of feed water processing plant so there are basically two system first one is the open system and second is closed system for cooling water circuit 
if the quantity of water required to condense it condense it the stream is considerably large then it is taken either from the lake or river and the cooling tower is taken from the upper side of the lever river and it is passed through the condenser and heater heated water is discharged to the lower side of the river and such system of cooling water supply is possible if adequate cooling water is available throughout the year but in this uh, video we can see when <coughs> adequate quantity of water is not available so water coming out from the condenser is cooled either in cooling pond or cooling tower and cooling is affected by particularly evaporating the water so when cooling water is coming out of the condenser is cooled again and supplied to the condenser then system is known as the closed system and in this video we can see the closed system of cooling water circuit but when the water coming out from the condenser is discharged to the river downward side directly and system is known as the open system but here is the closed system basically water is uh, recycle again and again condenser to cooling water and from cooling water to condenser so as we can see there is a co2 rich emission that is coming out from the chimney and water vapors from the cooling tower and uh, with the help of power lines electricity generated with the help of generator that is uh, supplied to the grid and this is the whole arrangement of the thermal power plant and uh, this is very beneficial when we need to fulfill the condition of base load plant and generally these are known as the base load plant so this source of power generation is very useful and this is most effective for the developing countries so today we discuss about thermal power plant its working main components and components working so subscribe for more video and universe double 2 and uh, you may like share and comment and you can also give your suggestions if required thank you have a nice day